Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make a light and moist vanilla butter cake covered with a sweet and buttery confectioner frosting. We're going to start with the cake batter. So preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 180 degrees Celsius. And then you will need two 9 inch um, by 2 inch high cake pans. So that's 23 centimeters by 5 centimeters. And you want to either lightly butter or spray with a non-stick spray your pans. And then I like to line the bottoms with either uh, a piece of parchment paper or you could just use wax paper. And then I like to just lightly spray the parchment paper and that way um, the paper will easily release from the cake. So if you have an electric stand mixer like I have, uh, use a paddle attachment, or you could use a hand mixer for this. Now this is uh, what you would call a one, two, three, four cake. Really easy to remember. One cup uh, butter, two cups sugar, uh, three cups of flour, and four eggs. I mean, so it's a really simple uh, recipe to remember. We're gonna start with the butter. Like I said, one cup, 226 grams. Have it at room temperature. And I like to use the unsalted butter because I like the flavor better, but you could use um, salted butter, but then I would cut back a little on the salt that we're gonna add later. So just put that into your mixer. And then I'm just going to um, beat this a little to smooth out uh, the butter, just for like a minute or two. Okay, and next we're going to, I'm going to slowly add um, our sugar. Now, I've cut back, I know the, the basic formula is two cups sugar. Um, I find that a little sweet, although if you like a sweet cake, you could use the two cups. I'm using uh, one and three quarter cups, which is uh, 350 grams. And if you really don't like a sweet cake, you, you could cut that back to even like one and a half cups of sugar. Uh, so 300 grams, so just keep that in mind. So what I'm going to do now, I'm gonna have the mixer on low and I'm just gonna gradually add all the sugar. Okay, so just scrape down the sides and the bottom of your bowl. So now what we want is we want to get some air into this mixture. So I'm going to um, beat this anywhere depending on your mixer. If you're using a stand mixer like this, maybe about three to five minutes on medium high speed, just in, until it's like really nice and light and fluffy. Okay, that looks good. So this is what you're looking for. See how light it's become? Nice and fluffy. So that's what you're looking for. Like I said, if you're using a uh, hand mixer as opposed to the stand, it may take a little longer for you to reach this um, fluffiness than if you're using one of these big stand mixers. So now I'm going to, uh, it's a vanilla cake, so we need vanilla. I'm, I'm adding two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. And try to use the pure, it has a lot better flavor than the uh, artificial ones. I'm just gonna beat that in. Okay. And now we're going to add four large eggs. Now have those at room temperature and we're going to add them one at a time beating well after each one, and then scrape down the sides of the bowl as you need to. Now, if you wanted a uh, more uh, lighter uh, cake than this, what you can do is separate the eggs, 
and then beat the white separately until soft peaks and then add the uh, beaten egg whites right at the end at, once you've made the batter and then just add the yolks here but I'm just going to um, add the whole eggs so just one at a time scrape down as you notice when you first add the egg the batter will like almost curdle and then you beat it a little longer and it will smooth out okay I'll add the last egg we'll beat that in okay Again, let's scrape again. Make sure you get to the bottom of your bowl. You want all that, everything mixed together well. Okay, and now for our dry ingredients. In a separate bowl, you will need three cups of sifted all-purpose flour. You may know that as plain flour. That's 345 grams. Now, if you wanted a more soft and tender crumb, you could use three cups of sifted cake flour. And then I'm adding to this one tablespoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of salt. Now, if you use salted butter, I would cut back maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And then you can either um, sift all the uh, dry ingredients together or I'm just using a wire whisk. Just make sure you really whisk that in to get that baking powder mixed into your flour. And then you will need one cup, that's 240 milliliters of milk. You, if you want a, um, a rich tasting butter cake, use whole milk. Um, I'm using a reduced fat 2%. So now what we're gonna do is add the flour in three stages and the liquid in two. So third of the flour, half of the milk, third of the flour, so on. But you don't want to add all the flour at once because it wouldn't mix in very well. This is just to make it a lot easier to incorporate these ingredients into the batter. Have your mixer on low speed because you don't want the flour or the, even the milk splashing up on you. and the last bit of flour. Okay, just want to beat it until you get a nice smooth batter. You can always mix the last bit of flour in by hand. Doesn't that look wonderful? This is like the perfect birthday cake or any type of celebration. Okay, so now we're going to divide the batter 
as evenly as possible between the two pans because you want this approximately the same amount of batter in each pan so that you get the same size cake layers and they bake for the same amount of time. You don't want one being um, ready five minutes before the other one. If you have a scale, what you can do is um, weigh your pans to make sure. We're going to eyeball it here as best as we can. Um, okay. And then you can use the back of a spoon, or I'm just using an offset spatula. Spread it out. As you can see, this is a pretty easy cake to make. Everyone seems to love This is the kind of cake I always had as a kid for my uh, birthday. Okay, so nice and smooth. So now we're going to um, bake these for anywhere from, say, 27 to 35 minutes, depending on your oven. Uh, you want to bake them till a toothpick, when you insert it into the uh, middle of the cake, it comes out, just comes out clean, and you'll nice springy to the touch. Okay, our cakes are now done. As you can see, they're a beautiful golden brown color. And if I press the center, it kind of springs back, and a toothpick inserted into the center will come out clean. Now you want to make sure that you take these out of the oven just at the point when the toothpick will come out clean. You don't want to overbake them. So I always like to check them like a few minutes before the end of your baking time. So what we're going to do now is just leave them like this to cool on a wire rack for about 10 minutes and then we'll take them out of the pan. So now we'll remove the cakes from their pants. So what I like to do is on your wire rack, I just like to butter it lightly so that way our um, cakes won't stick while they're cooling. Or you can spray it with one of those non-stick sprays as well. And then just run either, I've got a spatula or knife around the inside of your pan in case it sticks. And then take your the rack and then just flip. Like so, and then we're just going to gently peel off. As you can see, because we um, sprayed our paper, it's coming off very easily that and then we'll just flip it onto our rack and the second one again peel the paper off Okay, so now what we're going to do is let these completely cool and then we'll start the frosting. So now we'll make our confectioner frosting, or maybe you know it, know it as an easy buttercream. So if you're using the stand mixer, use your paddle attachment. We're going to start with one cup, 226 grams of butter. Have it at room temperature, you want it nice and soft. And you can use either salted or unsalted. And I'm just going to beat this just until it's uh, creamy and smooth. Okay, so now what we're going to add is one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract for flavoring. And try to use the pure vanilla extract. And then we're going to add four cups. That's uh, 460 grams of confectioner sugar. You know, may know that as either powdered or icing. And sift it to uh, get rid of any lumps. And I'm going to add it gradually. And then just 
stop and uh, scrape down the sides of your bowl and just until it's all incorporated. Okay, so beat in all the sugar. And now we need to thin this out because as you can see, it is very thick. It's gonna to be too thick to spread. So we're going to add somewhere between two and four tablespoons of either a light cream or you can just even use um, milk. And I'm also going to add, I'm gonna color this. I'm gonna color it pink. I'm using the gel paste. You could use the liquid, whatever you have. Just be careful, it uh, can stain. So I'm gonna start with just two tablespoons of my liquid, because you don't wanna get it too thin. You just want it of spreading, spreading consistency. So I'm just gonna beat that in. Okay, so that looks good. So what I'm going to do now I got a nice bright pink here. Girls will love this. So um, what I'm gonna do now is just beat this. I may have to add a little more liquid. But I'm gonna beat it for about three to five minutes until it's really light and fluffy and of spreading consistency. Like I said, if you need to stop and add a little more liquid, just do that. Okay, frosting is done. So this is what we're looking for. Really nice, soft, of spreading consistency. So I'll just clean this up and we'll come back and we'll frost the cakes. So now we'll frost our cakes. So what I've done is put one of the layers top side down so that we have a nice, where the uh, bottom of the cake is facing up so it's nice and flat. So just take I don't know, around three quarters of a cup to a cup of your frosting. Depends how much you want. If you like a thick layer of frosting in the center. And then I'm using a uh, spatula. You could use a knife. I'm just going to spread. Do it as even as you can. And then again, top is face, the bottom of the cake is facing up, so then we get a nice flat surface. And then again, we're just gonna spread a nice thin layer or thick layer, depending on how much frosting you like. And just work your way around the sides. As you can see, this is spreading really easily. If yours doesn't, then you know you might want to uh, add a little more milk. Should be very soft and easy to spread. Now, you could just leave it like this, or if you want to, um, if you don't like a lot of frosting, you can just take your, your knife and then have it at an angle and just go around and smooth. And too, if you want a really smooth sides, see how I'm going around? And you know, if you want to fuss, just keep going around and smooth. And just, and the same with the top. Just kind of go around with your, I mean, if you don't have, like, if you have a turntable, this makes it really easy. But if not, you can just kind of go like this. 
and just smoothing it out. If that's what, if you like the really smooth surface. Now, there. The, uh, if you want it really smooth, just keep fussing until you get it as, as good as you want it. And then if you want to use these little candy dots, you could put those on, decorate the sides. I have in the head note where you can get them. And then if the leftover frosting, I've just put them in a, in a pastry bag. I'm using a disposable one with a uh, Wilton number 18 little star tip. And I'm just going to put them around the edge. So I put a little... Pipe a little, then go forward, then go back, forward, back. Just go around the whole side, edge of the cake. Okay. Now, if you want, once you transfer this cake over to your serving platter, you could put uh, another uh, rim of the frosting pipe along the bottom of the cake. So now I'll uh, cut a piece so you can see the inside. Of course, candles if it's for a birthday. And you can cover and store this at room temperature for a few days or in the refrigerator if it's really warm in your house. Of course, it's always best the day it's made. So there you have it, a vanilla cake with confectioner frosting. So until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com.